sick of trying so hard just wanna get in my car where I go good morning so even though that I missed my bus this morning uh, and I had to walk to the farther bus stop I got my coffee and all is good um they actually like remember me so it's like I just think the usual and they know it's a medium coffee regular so we love the client relationships the destination untold they say just drop from the road the road but I'm so done checking so today is quite interesting because I'm seeing a lot of vascular surgical patients. Sometimes they'll be getting like a stent, which is like a wired mesh that goes in to keep an artery open after something like atherosclerosis or maybe like an arterial bypass. And you never would have thought that anatomy would be important for pharmacy. I guess like not that important, but with this role it is. So, you know, they'll say what surgery they're scheduled for and they'll say what artery um, they're doing the operation on and you need to know what artery that is and um so i know guys anatomy is tough it is rough trust me you've seen me cry about it on my channel it's really really tough but it definitely is important so make sure you're paying attention in class and getting that knowledge down because it is important in the hospital setting and especially if you're working in a surgical unit So I have one more patient left to see here in the clinic and then I'll be heading up to the wards. Now I was in the wards on Monday, however because of time I didn't actually get to have any consultations with patients. We had orientation and tours and by the time all that was done, I didn't get the chance to speak to anyone. So <laughs> this time we're trying again. There's an adequate amount of time so today should be a very very fun and uh, interesting experience. But two things I need to have with me when I go up to the wards. The first thing I want to show you, and when I saw this, I had no idea what it was. If you think you know what this is, leave it in the comment below. I want to see how many people actually get it right. Leave a comment below and then I'll let you know what it is. So this is not a garage door opener, it's a pager. There's like the joke about how there's only two people in this world that have a pager. Either a drug dealer or someone that works in a hospital, and in my case, I am both. So it makes sense for me to have a pager. And then basically how this works, because I had no idea how this worked. So someone will page me by calling a number, and the number that's attached to the device. I'll see on the screen here what number it is, and then I have to go to a phone and then call that number to speak to the person that requested me. Kind of strange because it seems quite outdated, but you would think that healthcare has a more efficient communication system, but I guess it's just one of those things that are like old school but never had a replacement, like faxes. Healthcare loves using faxes, although it's such old school technology, right? So this is a pager. And then also I have a screamer. Now this is like your panic button. If I pull this cord here, it'll make a huge alarm and essentially it will tell us people around me that I'm in danger. You know, if the patient got violent or whatever. I'm not gonna pull it because I don't want people in the clinic here thinking, that I'm in danger. Um, but yeah, this is um, another thing for safety that is so important because you never know who you might be dealing with. You never know how, you know, interactions could escalate. So safety is number one priority. Okay, I will catch you guys a little bit later. Hi friends, I hope you're enjoying the hospital vlog. I wanted to pop in and tell you this video is kindly sponsored by italki italki is an online learning platform that allows you to become fluent in any language at the end of my work placement and before the beginning of my next study semester i want to go on a trip and this provides the perfect opportunity for me to learn a new language so if there's anyone else that is planning a little vacation or simply wants to learn more about culture and language then italki is perfect for you on the platform you can find certified teachers to engage with you through one-on-one -on -one lessons in more than 150 different languages and because the whole process is virtual, you can learn at your own pace and you're not held down by fixed schedules or fixed fees. To supplement those lessons, you can practice for free by interacting with the italki community, which is made up of 190 countries. You can share experiences, encourage one another, and provide feedback, all with the goal of that continuous language development. And the best part about italki is that they provide a very tailor-made learning experience through different tools such as language assessments, prompts, tests, and so much more. You pay per lesson, so there is no subscription and no commitment. 
Register for italki by clicking the link in my description box. And currently, italki is giving out multiple awards in their 2022 language challenge, a 45-day transformational experience. Explore italki for free, grab the chance to win some coupons, and up to $500 in credit that can be used towards your language learning. Thank you, italki, and let's continue on with the video. So yeah, I didn't end up going to the ward. There was an outbreak declared yesterday, and we needed to speak to the caregiver, not the patient anyways. It was the caregiver knew more than the patient. It was just easier for our phone calls. It's probably in our best interest to not go to a floor that has an outbreak. So we'll try again tomorrow, uh, maybe in a different ward, different floor, and I'll, of course, keep you guys updated. So it's 3.30, time to go home. Today has been such a long day, I just need to kind of reward myself, so let's head over to the couch and then while I eat my ice cream bar, I will give you guys the rundown of what happened after. So, wow that is so good. Okay, anyways, I didn't end up doing a workout, I literally did one set and then I was like, no, this is not it, I can't do it. <laughs> it, it's because, first of all, it was 7. I haven't eaten anything since 12. I was like tired from work, obviously, but also from filming. No, I just want to shower, eat, and go to bed. So I finished eating, and then I also made breakfast. I have to make breakfast at night uh, so that I can heat it up in the morning and eat it then because I don't have time in the morning. And now it is 10 o'clock. Ideally, I do want to sleep at 9. 10 is still like too late because I have to wake up at 5 30. So again, nine would give me like eight hours. But it's so hard. It's literally so hard to sleep really early. This is so good. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. Happy Friday. So I didn't vlog anything of the morning. I was just busy doing my consults with my surgical patients. It was a very, very busy day. Um, a lot of patients, but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, just a very busy day. So now that the morning is done, the afternoon is done, uh, I need to see my inpatient patients. So they're up in the ward. Now I do have to kind of garb up a little more. So uh, to get my N95, I'm gonna get my face shield, my pager, my panic alarm, all that ready. And they're gonna garb up with me. heading over to the pharmacy department now um, to grab a laptop because my regular I work in the clinic so it's very stationary and I have my own computer but when I'm jumping from room to room in the wards I need a laptop to have access to the records so we are heading to zone D so let's go so as I'm walking to this specific ward I want to tell you what I've done to prepare for these consultations. Hold on. Zone D. Uh, this way, okay. So, prior to seeing my patients, I want to have as many resources as possible because sometimes the patients don't know what they're on. It's like they don't have a list with them because they're inpatients. I want to have as many resources and tools by my side to get their accurate medication history. So. I like to call the pharmacy and I like to find out what meds they're on for the past two months. I'll get that list faxed over and then I'll bring that with me to them so that we can go through it one by one together. So the patient that I just saw has trouble hearing and this is a very common thing especially with the elderly. Um, so. 
you just kind of have to do your best and you have to figure out alternatives and i had my resources which is what i told you i got my resources from the pharmacy i already knew what he was taking going in i just kind of wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to see if there were any disparities between how medications are prescribed versus how he's actually taking them and adherence is what we call it so we did our best and um we're on to the next patient I am back and uh, second patient uh, didn't end up talking to her. Uh, she was sleeping and I tried calling her name and tapping her. She just wouldn't wake up. So at that point, I'll let her have her dream and um, we'll call it a day. What was really cool though, was that when I was in the ward, I saw someone having a seizure. And then I also saw another person, they had an injury. And because they were on something we call anticoagulants, prevents clots. And because they fell, basically the blood kind of exploded into the muscle that was being attended by plastics residents and like plastic doctors and stuff so that was really cool to see those uh two situations yeah it's, just, it's really interesting to see all these uh, cases uh, up in the wards it is the end of the day i'm going to head out if you enjoyed this week's hospital vlog make sure to give it a like let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next and if you have any questions i'll answer them as well and if you want to see more hospital vlogs study vlogs study advice make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time i post a new video which is tuesdays at 11 a.m edt and if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life make sure to follow me on instagram at nathan.wu and if you want to have some laughs check out my tiktok it's nathan Wu. you'll have some student comedy some hospital comedy that kind of good stuff but that's it for me and i'll see you friends in the next video bye